Hello everyone, Mike Harris from Golf Monthly and you join me here at the fantastic Bishopsgate International Junior Golf Academy just outside of Orlando in Florida. And in today's video, we are going to be doing a cheap versus an expensive putter test. And in my hand, I have the Inesis 100 Mallet. This is our cheap model. This cost me $14.99 uh, from Decathlon. And in my other hand, I have the Scotty Cameron Phantom X. This will set you back £399. So really, both ends of the spectrum being covered off there. We're often, uh, people comment on our videos and on our magazine reviews to say that cost of golf equipment is prohibitive, stops people getting into the game. Well, I believe at 15 quid, that is a, a pretty modest investment. If you're on a budget or if you're a beginner, this could, you know, let's see, put it to the test. I think this could do a job. But how is it going to differ to the £385 more expensive Scotty Cameron. Obviously, this really is a thing of beauty, lovely design. It's a mixture of uh, aluminium and stainless steel in the design to give it a great feel. The Inesis, not sure what it's made out of, some sort of metal. Uh, it's a lot lighter than the Scotty Cameron. We're gonna do three little tests, uh, a short putt, mid-range and long. Let's see how we get on. Let's see the results of how they go head to head. So for the first element of our test, I've got myself a little three and a half footer up the hill. It's a straight putt, really you should be holding this one every time. Knock it in for par, move on, job done. Let's see how many consecutive putts I can hold with each putter. First up, the Inesis. So the results are in, and in first place was the Inesis with 10 consecutive putts hold. Uh, Scotty Cameron, I hold seven consecutive putts. What was really interesting to note is just how light the Inesis feels in comparison to the Scotty. Scotty does feel very smooth back and through the putt, great feel off it, whereas the Inesis is a little bit tinny, quite tinny sounding. Um, but Proofs in the numbers there, and the Inesis, 10 on the bounce, Scotty, uh, 7 there. So, very interesting little test there. Got a 12-foot putt that's sort of downhill. If you hit your iron shot into here, these are the sort of putts that you really want to be trying to convert. Make birdie uh, can really make a huge difference to your score. So, going to use the Scotty Cameron first. So again, pretty similar results there. Uh, hold one more, hold two with the Scotty and one with the uh, Inesis there. But uh, certainly felt like I had more control over the putts uh, with the Scotty. But as you see, the results are, are, are very similar. One putt there with the Scotty did go on, uh, you know, sort of four or five foot pass there, which leaves a little knee knocker coming back. But I've got to say, the Inesis performed pretty well. Undoubtedly, it's that lighter feel in it. it feels and sounds uh, a little bit tinny, um, whereas that's got a lovely feel, uh, lovely sound on it as well. But quite interesting there to see just how similar the, re the results are with the two putters. So this putt I've got here is a 30 foot putt, a little bit uphill and there's quite a lot of break off the right. So. I guess this is the sort of putt you'd be wanting to get close. I don't think you'd be expecting to hold this many times, but certainly get it up there just to sort of tap in range. Uh, so say a really good test of the feel uh, of these two putters. So I'm going to putt six white balls and six yellow balls. Going to uh, go first with the Inesis uh, with the white balls. Got the GoPro up uh, behind the flag. Going to give us another angle as well. Yeah, a bit tentative that one. Well, 
a good one to finish with there. But as you can see, not a huge uh, amount of difference between the, uh, the results of where the two uh, different putters finished up there. Be reasonably happy with those, leaving myself that sort of putt for the, uh, to make par perhaps. Scotty Cameron feels very nicely balanced, lovely feel off the face. The inner assist very much sort of pinged off, but the results sort of speak for themselves. Hole one obviously with the final putt there with the Scotty, but actually the inner assist performed okay, despite the fact that it did feel very light through the stroke. So we have finished our head-to-head -head test of the Inesis against the Scotty Cameron, cheap against expensive. Really interesting, those little three-stage tests we did, the short putts, uh, Inesis, hold more consecutive putts there, and probably you'd say the Scotty Cameron one on the mid and the long range ones, but the results were pretty close. Really interesting thing is just how well the Inesis performed for £15. It really is uh, an entry level product, but perfect if you're just getting into the game or if you're on a budget, this does the job. If I missed a putt, it was down to operator error, i.e. me. Um, yes, it feels lightweight, it sounds very tinny. Uh, the Scotty Cameron, by contrast, beautifully weighted, looks absolutely fantastic, wonderful premium um, head cover. You know, Scotty Cameron is all about great performance and beautiful aesthetics. It's so cool. It would be a really great club to have in your bag, but for £385 less, you can get a putter that does the job. I would love to have the Scotty Cameron in my bag, as I'm sure probably you all would. It looks great, feels great, but the Inesis did the job. You know, particularly on those short putts, I hold more consecutive ones with the Inesis than the Scotty Cameron. So I think if you are starting out in golf, or say if you're on a budget, definitely you don't need to go right in unless you've got a lot of money right in at the top end perhaps if you've been playing for a number of years or you want to treat yourself yes a putter like the scotty cameron it's a thing of beauty it's going to look great in the bag you're going to feel really proud every time you get it out on the putting green but a lot to be said for uh, entry level golf equipment it's going to get people started in the game let us know what you think would you be happy playing with a 15 pound putter. Uh, would you consider investing 400 pounds in a putter? Let us know in the comments section below. But for now, from Bishopsgate, it's goodbye.